Hello everybody, how are you going? I hope that you are well. Please excuse my lack of clothing right now. I am just getting ready to go on a road trip around the UK for the week, um, which is very exciting. I'm going with two YouTubers who I've not met before and I will introduce you to them later when I meet them for the first time. But I thought I would just give you a little bit of an intro as to how I'm getting ready for this road trip, what I'm doing right now, how I'm packing, how I'm getting ready. So I have all of my packing out on my bed. When I push my duvet to the end of the bed, it means business and that means packing. And I lay everything out in categories of everything that I'm going to bring. So we've kind of got underwear and bras and socks over here. We've got some jeans, electricals, thinner jumpers, long sleeve top, that's bikinis, short sleeve top, leggings, jumpers, pajamas, and then those are a couple of my day bags. And then I've got my toiletries just over here on my windowsill. I'm actually gonna bring a duffel bag this time. I've never brought a duffel bag on any kind of trip actually. Normally I either have a suitcase or I have my backpack, but I thought that would be a really good idea because I probably won't fill it all the way up. It's a really big duffel bag. But it might just fit in the car a bit better, especially if we're going on a road trip. I thought that just might be a good shout. We'll see. I'll let you know how the, the duffel bag goes. I'm actually really looking forward to doing a UK road trip and exploring places which I haven't been to before. And I've said this earlier on in, in the year, like, I know so much about Australia and New Zealand and everything like that, but I, I hardly know anything about my own country. And like, just places to go and things to do and I haven't, I haven't properly explored it. So I'm super excited to finally be able to do that. And in terms of where we're going, I actually don't know the exact, exact route, but I know we're gonna be heading down to Cornwall, which I've never been to. We're gonna be going through Bristol and Cardiff, and we're gonna be going um, up through West Wales, up to Snowdonia, which I'm super excited. I wanna climb Mount Snowdon. I don't know whether the boys will be up for that. They probably will, I'm sure they will. And just doing some hiking up in Snowdonia National Park, because it looks beautiful and then I believe we're going over to the Peak District before making our way back down I think via London very briefly. We're not doing the whole of the UK we're only going for six or seven days so I think that would be very ambitious if we did try to get to Scotland as well. It's a lot of England and Wales and what I think will really be the highlights of it and we're going to be going to some really really beautiful places which I'm just I'm really stoked about. I also don't think I'm going to be putting makeup on every day I just felt like I should because you know it's, it's day one it's the start of the road trip but I do have a little beauty tip for when I'm not wearing makeup and that is this product here Garnier Ombre Solaire No Streaks Bronzer Self Tanning Dry Mist actually amazing you just spritz it on and then a few hours later your face becomes more tanned and immediately I I just feel comfortable with wearing no makeup because I don't look all washed out it looks like I may have just come back from holiday it comes out really natural this is not sponsored but yeah little banana beauty secret for you but yeah today I am putting on makeup just because you know it's day one it's exciting I've even straightened my hair which is nice you know when you just you're starting off things and you want to start it on on a good note, on a clean and fresh note and for me that just meant I'm gonna wear makeup and I'm gonna straighten my hair. Don't expect that to last long on this trip. I'm actually gonna try daily vlogging for the first time on this trip. Let's all laugh together at Backpacking Bananas attempting daily vlogging. <laughs> But seriously, I really am going to try it. Um, I think it means that the production value of the videos won't be as high. You may have noticed recently I've been really working hard on the edits and making them as polished and perfectionist as I possibly can and just putting a lot of effort into it. And in turn that takes me a long time, which is why I can't upload as regularly as I'd like to. But for these videos, I'm not going to put as much effort in as my usual videos. Obviously I'm still going to make them as good as I can but basically I'm just I'm not going to spend as much time editing so I can pump them out as fast as I can and please let me know what you think of them. Let me know if it's if it's enough for you, if it's entertaining enough for me to put them out and do more things like this, do more videos which don't have as much production value but come more frequently than my other videos. This is also an unusual setup for me. I feel like a beauty YouTuber right now. Get ready with me. Get ready to come with me. 
on my day out. <laughs> and if I'm gonna be a beauty YouTuber right now, I might as well tell you what I'm doing. This is Benefit They're Real. Mm. Yeah, that's the mascara I'm using. Lovely. It's actually really, really good. It was actually beauty YouTubers which were a big part of me wanting to create my own YouTube channel because those are the videos that I watched when I was 14 and 15 and I would watch Zoella and whatever doing her makeup tutorials and everything like that and I loved it. I loved watching them. I wanted to be them. I wanted to be that YouTuber but um, I knew nothing about beauty and makeup and whatever and like obviously now I, I know enough to do my own makeup, but I don't know enough to, and I don't feel passionately enough to speak about it on the internet every day or every week. But no, yeah, beauty YouTubers were a big influence for me on uh, creating my own YouTube channel. All right, you'll be pleased to know I have put some clothes on and this is my outfit of choice. Da, 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 da. These are my brand new leggings from Fabletics, which I have a subscription for and I spend too much money on and um, they're high-waisted. I think this is from H&M and this is from Camden Market or something like that. But it's now time to organize all of this into packing cubes. I've got uh, packing cubes. It's more fun in the Philippines from a Philippines event I went to. Ah. <laughs> I'm together with my team! We have got Tom! What's up? Introduce yourself! What's up guys, my name is Tom. I have a YouTube channel called The Traveling Clap, and I've been traveling around the world for three years, and I'm excited to be traveling with your girl over here! Woo We're gonna have to have an epic trip and tape trip. <laughs> to what, to what? And in the driver's seat, we've got Jello! Jello is from Spain. So he speaks like this, and I've already figured out how to annoy him, and that's by singing Despacito. Because <laughs> I think he's heard it a little bit too much in uh, in the past few months, I imagine, as with probably every Spanish person out there, and every nationality, to be yeah, honest. Just every person in general who hasn't heard it a billion times <laughs> since it's come out. We have actually been blessed with a beautiful sunset, which I feel like is quite of a rarity in England. We see a lot of grey skies, but it's like... It knows we're coming for it, it knows we're doing this road trip and it's like, you know what, we're just gonna give you the weather that you deserve, guys. Just to stay alive. First stop is Dorset, so we just started off in Surrey, so it's about two to three hours down the M3 and a bit further than that. And we'll see how we get on. Taking it back somehow. Our YHA accommodation in Dorset, YHA Lulworth Cove. It's quite late, bless them. They had their reception open late for us because we were really, really late. We've got this dorm to ourselves. It is a beautiful dorm. Beautiful dorm. We all get bottom bunks, which is the dream. Well, it's my dream anyway. <laughs> I've got the boys together. This isn't like super, super traditionally English. I mean, they all come from England, but these are my favorite sweet treats to buy in the supermarket. And I really want the boys to try them because they haven't before. First off, we've got Dairy Milk Giant Buttons. All right, Dairy Milk Buttons. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Yeah, mm. this is like, my go-to. I normally eat a whole bag after dinner. Sweet treat number two! Two, two, two! <laughs> Galaxy cake bars. This one for you. I'm the most excited for this one because she's been hyping this one up. Yeah. Let me just taste first just to make sure that like we, we definitely will have the other taste out of our mouth and I'll be able to tell. Mm. Kind of looks like a Milky Way. Sabe como a fojitos. Mm -hmm. Wow. But no, but yes. But it's good. What am I eating right now? Bien, bien. That might have just changed my life a little bit. <laughs> Where did I put my water? Here. Oh yeah. Here. Thank you. Here. 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 It is here. Aquí. Aquí. Está aquí. Está aquí. Está aquí. <laughs> Despacito, eh? Okay. Despacito. Okay, I'm ready. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Mm -hmm. Give me more. Okay. 
The final. Whoa! Oh, okay, never mind. Mm, I yeah, thought it was. No, they're not a double one. <laughs> I thought it was right? like a double cookie. Yeah, so this is the chocolate chip shortbread from the co op. Do you just like the cookie? Uh uh. <laughs> it's better than that. Oh, wrong. Eat it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest real quick. Mm. It's alright. It's alright. Mm. It's alright. Okay. I mean, you did just have the guys to pay for it, so to be fair. Nice, nice this shit is bomb. This stuff is just delicious. Mm. This one's alright. Okay. But, Jelly, do you prefer it? Mm hmm. Who prefers the chocolate chip shortbread? Well, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm really thrilled that they enjoyed those. Um, and now we're gonna go outside and shoot some astrophotography because the stars are out, which is awesome. Good morning team, it is 20 past 6 in the morning but we woke up at 5.45 because we are getting to Dirtledor for sunrise. I was in Dirtledor a couple of weeks ago and I made a vlog, I just haven't put it out yet so I'm sorry about that but that will be up on the vlog soon and we go swimming and all of this but we did not do sunrise at Dirtledor back then so that is our aim for today and oh my goodness it's it's a clear day for the most part. There are a couple of clouds, but it's gonna be an epic sunrise. Here we have a towel emerging in this blanket. <laughs> You're like a superhero. <laughs> ah! It looks incredible. It's so serene and the water's so blue and it, it's so hard to believe this is in England. Like it's absolutely incredible. Apart from the cold, it's, it's quite nippy out here right now. I've got myself an apple. We've got ourselves a little time lapse session going on on all of our cameras. And Tal, what is it? It's the most dirtling door I've ever done seen in my dirt alive. It's the most dirtling door you've ever done seen in this dirt alive. <laughs> So the boys right now are getting some epic drone shots and they've allowed me to let me show you on this vlog so I'm going to show you them now. the weather and the sunrise, it was all pink and orange and the sky is clear and it's beautiful. But now we're gonna make our way back to YHA in Lulworth Cove, we're gonna pack up all our gear, get it in the car and then we're gonna get going. this first daily vlog. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. Please do let me know what you think of this new video style, I guess. Um, and I hope you will stay tuned and come back for the other daily vlogs in the week. Next up is Cornwall. So I will see you there. Bye.